Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a Little Bean and Me podcast channel and today I'm bringing you a little tutorial on how I like to finish the toes of my socks. So you can see here a nice clean line for my socks. It looks like I kitchened the toe, but guess what? I didn't. I have a nice method to finish a sock without any dog ears and from the outside it looks like a kitchener stitch. So here's a completed pair. I did this technique on the heels and toes and I'm going to show you here the difference between when I do my inside out technique and when I kitchener. The bottom is kitchener, the top is my inside out technique. Um, this is a technique that I learned while making um, circular sock machine socks, having to finish my toes by doing an inside out grafting technique and I found it very helpful uh, to do it on my regular socks as well. So here is what you would do. You would finish your toe and then you would put several rows of waist yarn above your toe, not in the same color. So this is bright green. I cut my waist yarn off and now I'm going to use my tapestry needle to weave in the ends of my toe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from the knitting needles. I know it's really scary. Don't be scared. I have enough rows here so that my stitches won't fall out and then I'm going to gently turn my sock inside out. And we're going to tuck it so that the little chimney that comes off of the toe is on the inside um, or on the outside of the sock. So we've turned our sock inside out and we're going to make sure that all the waist yarn is tucked in. Now here you can see the last row of live stitches and the end where we finished our toe. So what we're going to do is put our yarn on our tapestry needle and then we are going to find the last stitch that we made. So where the yarn exits. Uh, from the toe. So here I'm just going to manipulate this so you can see a little better. Here is the final stitch. You can see where the yarn comes out and makes this stitch right here. So we are going to line up our last stitch with the first stitch of our round which is hiding a little bit here. Uh, that does happen from time to time. And we're gonna do the in with the new, out with the old method. So you can see here, I'm just picking it out so you can see the stitch. And now I'm going to fold my sock so I can easily line them up. And I'm gonna go in with the new stitch. And I'm going to exit with the old stitch. So I'm just turning my needle around so I don't split the yarn. You'll see at the end that I do end up splitting the yarn at one point. Not a very pretty thing. So here we go. I'm gonna go in with the new stitch and then I'm going out with the old stitch. So where my yarn originally came out, I'm gonna go into that bar. There we go. Out with the old, in with the new. And that's the mantra we're gonna have for this entire toe. And I'm going to try and keep this tutorial a bit short, but I am gonna show you several stitches going in and out. So here, that's our stitch we just came out of. I'm going to tighten up to make sure that we don't have any dog ears on the end. Now we're going to find our next set of stitches. So here's where we just came out and the stitch right next to it. So we're going in with the new stitch and we're going to go out with our old stitch right here. This is the stitch we just came out of. Now I'm going to tighten. And then we're going to repeat again. I'm going to find the new stitch, which is right here. We're going to go in with the new, careful not to split. This uh, tapestry needle is very sharp, so I tend to split stitches. <laughs> and then I'm going out with the old stitch. So this is the stitch we just came out of, in with the new, out with the old. Okay. The further we get along, the easier it is to sandwich your work together and see in with the new, out with the old. I find this method of closing a toe much less fiddly than doing it off of the knitting needles. Anytime I'm kitchenering off the knitting needles, I mess it up and then the toe doesn't look as smooth as I like. So here we go, in with the new, out with the old. Making sure I'm going into the right place here. That's the 
pulled a little bit too tightly. In with the new, out with the old. And again, in with the new stitch, out with the old stitch. So in essence, we're doing a grafting technique. I'm sure you've seen other types of grafting techniques where you make the chimney for the toe by using waste yarn and you graft on the outside of the sock. This is really helpful because the graft is on the inside and you can weave your ends in when you're all finished and you don't have to worry about tucking ends back into your sock. So again, in with the new, out with the old. And this repeats all the way to the end of the sock. Uh, and you can see here how it looks like the back of your knitting. You are literally simulating a knit stitch by going in and out of your stitches in this manner. So it will be completely seamless on the other side. So it looks like reverse stockinette. In with the new, out with the old. So I hope you guys can see this well. It was a little difficult for me to make sure that the camera was centered and my hands were centered. I had to keep looking around my camera so that I knew I was going into the correct stitches. The viewfinder is not that large. So I hope that this is really helpful. Here we go, in with the new and out with the old. Um, <clears throat> I find this technique to be a little more meditative, a little more relaxing. I'm not worried about stitches dropping off. I can see clearly where all of my stitches are and I'm able to pick up each and every one as I go through. The key is to have waste yarn that is not the same color at all as your working yarn. So it is a very different color. This is a muted purple gray and a bright green. So I can see here my stitch in with the new and then I'm going back through the stitch, my old stitch, out with the old. In with the new, and out with the old. Trying my darndest not to split this yarn. <laughs> um, so we only have a few stitches left here. As you get to the end, sometimes the, the yarn tends to tuck in on itself because you have this lovely little yarn sandwich, but it's easy to pull out to see how many stitches you have left. In with the new, and out with the old. I'm just gonna fast forward this a little bit. And here we only have a few stitches left. We have four stitches left to work. Um, two on one side and two on the other. So we have in with the new, out with the old. And you can see here my last two stitches. Bring this nice and close for you so you see here one, two, and then the stitch I just came out of. So in with the new, which is a little tough because we're at the end here. You're going to see me struggle with this for a little bit. So I'm just going to clip to the part where I actually get my needle in without splitting the yarn using the back end of the needle to pull it out a little bit, and then putting my tapestry needle in this new stitch and back out the old. Now there's two more stitches left to work. There's one, two. So now I'm putting my needle into the new stitch. And out the old, new stitch, old stitch, and there's one stitch hiding in there. Don't forget it. So here I'm, you're going to see me pull up and out the stitch that's hidden away. The last stitch tends to want to do this, so I'm just wiggling my needle in there to loosen it, holding it, and then putting it in with the new. And that my friends, is the final stitch of your grafted toe. Yay, we did it. Now we're gonna turn our sock inside out to our right side in and take a look at our work and we're going to pull out our waste yarn, the scariest part ever. Here we go. And if we've done everything right, we won't have any dropped stitches and it should look very seamless. Now you're gonna watch me fail a little bit because I did split the yarn like a naughty, naughty person.
in two places actually. So I'm going to have to take my scissors to this to cut the end loose so I can just pull it out of the split stitch. And you're going to watch me fail one more time because I did split this stitch in a very not graceful way. I get the green yarn free but then pull a nice little, oh, there it goes. Well, that was very good. Good job, Kayleen. Okay, we're going to pretend like that isn't there, but you can see here that the grafted toe looks very clean. It looks just like a Kitchener stitch as if you would have Kitchenered it from the outside. There are no dog ears on this toe at all. It just tapers off. The only problem is on the beginning side. Sometimes there is a little bit of unevenness because you are a little bit looser when you're first pulling the stitches. So what I like to do is turn my sock back inside out and if I need to pull up on the beginning stitches a little bit I do that so right here at the beginning I will just pull slightly and then I'll tack that down on the inside if I find it's not perfect the way I like to see it and then I'll weave this end in after and then you're all done that's the end of this toe you can use it on toes or afterthought heels if you're doing afterthought everything socks or uh, like I'm doing here I'm cutting in heels for these sock tubes and you get a nice consistent finish to your socks and it looks beautiful seamless and it's a lot less fiddly than doing the Kitchener stitch on your toe so again the top is the grafting and the bottom was my failed attempt at a Kitchener stitch so you can see I like this method a lot better if you like it give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye!